Hello, everybody, and welcome to this video where I'm going to try to not piss people off, but I have a feeling that's going to happen. So, here we go. <clears throat> Today, we're going to talk about my problem with poetry and translation. Here's the thing a poet writes something, and especially if it is someone who is more formal a more formal poet who is really worried about language and the sound of words and all this other shit i feel that if you're dealing with somebody like that the idea of translating their work into other languages for others to enjoy is fucking sacrilege okay they had no intention of having their poetry translated. And if these poets are revision heavy, as scholars would like you to believe, the idea that someone comes in and goes, mm, I think this word is okay, and this word should be fine, and da -da 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 -da, that would drive one of these people fucking crazy. So the whole idea of poetry and translation should make most formal poets and formal poetry readers cringe, but it doesn't at all. Motherfuckers are reading shit from fucking Latin, from fucking India, from fucking Russian fucking poets and shit from all over the place. And some French shit. And nobody seems to fucking see the hypocrisy and it being okay to read those poems when they know that that's not how those poems were intended by the poet. It's a fucking joke. It's a shit show. Okay? Like, every fucking formalist motherfucker who sits here and fucking talks about how they agonize over every fucking word on a fucking line, but then is willing to plop down however much money to read a translation of fucking, I don't fucking know, Horace or Baudelaire or fucking, it doesn't matter. Like, um, any fucking poet who is not in the language, like, if you really give a shit that much and you care about language, learn the other fucking language and then learn that poet. Because if not, you're fucking that poet around and you're fucking with the line and you're being a fucking hypocrite. So another example of this, and I don't know if you guys remember me talking about this, but I went to San Francisco a while back, and I went and saw the um, Immersive Frida. And I was about to fucking jump out of my skin. I was so fucking, like, livid. Mainly because there's no program for it, okay? So the people going there, if they've never seen Frida's work before... Like, they're going to be confused about what Frida's work is. Plus, they had a bunch of her husband's work in there, too, and didn't specify which was her husband's and which was hers. Plus, they had um, a bunch of music going to all of this stuff and moving images on her paintings and combining paintings into other things and lights and all this other fucking shit. And what was driving me crazy about that is that she, I'm assuming, never intended for her art to be taken like that. And to just fucking do that, to make a shit ton of money and tour it around museums and stuff, to me is fucking disgusting. The people who put that together are fucking plagiarists of the fucking highest order. And should be dragged in the fucking street. And what you do with them once you get them there, I don't fucking care. But I was fucking nauseated. I wanted to fucking throw up. And I wasn't even drinking. It just made me sick to my stomach to see somebody take somebody's art and bastardize the shit out of it. And that's how I feel with works in translation. So my, my thing is, if you don't know the fucking language, then fucking stay away from that fucking poet. And if it fucking means that much to you, learn the fucking language so you can fucking give that poet some fucking respect. 
Now, if you are reading more free verse poetry to where people don't give a shit and, you know, it's just whatever it is on a page, then fucking whatever it is on a page, that's fine. You know, if the poet has been known to not be fucking precious about their fucking shit, then who fucking cares? But don't sit here and fucking talk to me about the line and, you know, every word has to mean something and blah, 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 blah. And then, like, rhyme schemes and pantameters and all this other fucking shit. If you're willing to fucking, like, destroy somebody's work in the language that it was originated in, just so you could fucking talk about it. Now, a funny thing. Me and Cameron Clark, um, who's over on Eratosphere and on Slee Ricketts every once in a while, we were talking about this a while back, and he sent me a book. I can't remember, because the whole idea was, he's like, read the introduction and the foreword to this book, and it, it'll, like, shed some light on this. And I'm like, oh, okay. And I started reading it, and it was the driest fucking shit I've ever fucking read. And I was like, oh my god, this is so fucking boring, I want to die right now. But I, and I told him that, but I told him also that I'm going to give it another go. So I'm going to give that another go and see if anything in that could change my mind. And if you have any views on this and you want to like try to change my mind on this, then go ahead. Because, I mean, shit, there are a lot of poets who are not English-speaking poets that I want to read more of, but I feel dirty when I fucking do it. I feel like it's kind of like one of those things where, I don't know, like somebody's showing you naked pictures of their girlfriend. Like when you're reading something in translation, you're like, oh, that's cool, but I really shouldn't be looking at this, and you definitely shouldn't be the one showing it to me. You know what I'm saying? Keep buying my books. They are not in translation, and I'm not very precious. And type hard, everybody, and I will talk to you later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. And thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.